Welcome to another video in the series of understanding injection molding. In this video, we're going to be looking at plastic injection molding inspection guide. What to expect in this video? Well, here's a typical tool design, and we're going to be covering what to look for from a design point of view. So we're going to be covering the tool design. We're going to be looking at ejector pin positioning. We're going to be covering machine setup or tool changeover. Required inspection re equipment. First off, inspection reports. And we're going to be looking at the Southeast Injection Mold Process Audit. So let's start with the tooling design itself. So what is tool design? Now, every plastic part designed to be injection molded needs to be produced from a tool known as a die. These tools need to be designed using computer-aided design or CAD software. And the design engineers need to have a full understanding of how to design a tool that will produce the required part to specification. The image on the bottom shows a design of a tool in progress. Here is a finished design. This is a CAD model, not a physical photograph of a tool itself. So continuing on with the tooling, Let's have a look at what level of detail to check for. Now, every part is different. Therefore, every tool will be different. However, there are some common aspects to all tools that should be relatively standard. These standard parts of the tool design are important. However, we should be checking for more specific details, which include the following. Gate type, position and size. Balanced runner system. Ejector pin positions, any sliders or moving cores, mold flow analysis if it's being carried out. So let's have a quick look at ejector pins. Ejector pins apply force to eject a part from the mold, and it is important that the position and size of the ejector pins is taken into consideration during the design stage. Here is an image that explains this a little bit better. Here we can see the gate position and the yellow cylinders or posts, they are the ejector pins. And as we can see, they are different size and located in key positions within the design itself. So let's move on to machine setup. Now, what is a machine setup? And in particular, a checklist. Now, every time a new job is run, there is the need to do a changeover of tools. This means taking the current tool out of the mold machine and placing the next required tool into the machine. This setup process should be carried out in the absolute minimum time scale as possible and without making any mistakes or errors. This is why a checklist should be followed. A setup that has errors can lead to sluggish cycles, high scrap rates, tool damage, flawed parts, rework, an unsteady process and delayed product delivery. Ultimately, this all leads to high reject rates. So let's have a look at inspection equipment. Plastic injection molded parts are produced for numerous reasons and applications. Some can be cosmetic, where tight tolerances are less important than service finish whereas others are heavily reliant on tight tolerance dimensions being correct every time. So what are the must-have equipment list? Molded plastic components would need inspection even if it's just the first off sample for approval. The following list of measuring equipment is a must in any injection molding supplier quality control area. Three coordinate measure machine or CMM. Set of micrometers bernier calipers, slip gauges or slip blocks, surface table, height gauge, dial test indicator or DTI. Here's an image of a three coordinate measure machine or CMM machine. So we mentioned the first off sample report. So let's have a look at what that is. So the first off sample report is a report that records the physical measured dimensions from a product that has been molded from the first pre-production batch. 
The intention is to mould products at production conditions and to measure a number of samples on every dimension against the 2D drawing specification to enable verification that the parts are being moulded to specification. Here's an example of a first off sample report, but as you'll notice here, it's not called a first off sample report. In this case, it's an initial sample inspection report. A quick note on that, there are different names and terms for this report, but they all refer to the same thing. It's a confirmation process to verify parts and or materials are compliant to all requirements and specifications detailed in the blueprint, quality standard, and all related standards. So the Sofist process audit. Sofist are pleased to announce that we have introduced a plastic injection molding specific audit that provides the following checks and reports back on. Production capacity, technical capability, process controls, QC and inspection capabilities, setup procedures, process parameters, cycling parameters, preventative maintenance, drying, polymer control, polymer delivery, material processing, tool and die storage, tool design and manufacturing capabilities, general housekeeping, and tooling efficiency. Here's a screenshot of the individual grading chart from one of those audits that we carried out. You can see here the overall score was 63.62%. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series and contact us if you have any need of any help for your projects in China. And don't forget to like and share this video. Also, you can leave a comment to let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit this little bell symbol because that will notify you of any new content that we upload. So thanks for listening. My name is Paul Adams from Sofist.